suddenly without ever uh, meaning to, or even realizing it at first, uh, creating this monumental disaster downtown. 30 years ago today, the loop was brought to a standstill. And it all started with a small leak. Anthony Pulse joins us now live with a look back at the great Chicago flood of 1992. Anthony. Yes, Don and Corey, that small leak, well, it formed right underneath the bridge where we're at tonight, the Kinsey Street Bridge. April 13th, 1992 is when the great Chicago flood happened. It uh, flooded the basements of dozens of uh, downtown office buildings and forced the evacuation of thousands of workers. Well, it, this is, you know, one of these great Chicago stories. The story starts as early as three months before the actual flood when utility crews found several feet of mud, clay and water already having leaked into Chicago's underground network of tunnels. Tunnels once used for coal transport, package delivery and utility lines to downtown office buildings. This was a serious problem that required immediate repairs and it should have been expedited. This morning, I have requested and received the resignation of Acting Transportation Commissioner John LaPlante. This problem was brought to his attention. He failed to act, resulting in a major problem that could have been avoided. It wasn't until hundreds of millions of gallons of the Chicago River had flooded the tunnel system that crews finally discovered the source of the breach. It takes a while before people start to realize that there's this break, breach um, around uh, um, the Kinsey Street Bridge, uh, that there's a whirlpool there. Several pilings installed there put too much pressure below, creating a car-sized hole in the tunnel wall, flooding the system, flooding building basements blocks away, and forcing the evacuation of thousands. Most, if not all, of those buildings have done an extensive rethinking of the way uh, their buildings are connected to this uh, independent tunnel system. And if you want to learn more info about the Great Chicago Flood, head to the Chicago History Museum. They've got a very good collection of images from that day in the aftermath. And they've also got one of the original dive suits used here under the Kinsey Street Bridge in that frantic response. We are live downtown tonight. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 Chicago.